when we talk about pinnacle of productivity the only software that comes into our mind is microsoft office hey there everyone my name is pritam and i'm going to show you how you can download the latest and greatest microsoft office 2021 perpetual from microsoft website so without further ado let's dive in okay so now here you can see we are at our computer screen the first thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press menu button and then here i'm gonna type edge which is nothing but my microsoft as browser okay so now what i'm going to do here is i will be typing following address which actually will help us to create our own custom office package so let's say if you only use world excellent powerpoint using configuration we will able to create our custom package so let's see how we can do that now here you can see uh, this option which says create new configuration simply click on it now here you will see your office customization tool first of all we will select our architecture here we are talking about our operating system architecture nowadays most of the system are 64 bit so if your pc is like 12 to 15 year old then go with 32 bit else simply go with 64 bit another way to check which version you should go with simply click here on this menu button and then go to settings in settings you need to go to system and then here go in the bottom about and then here you will find if your system is 32 bit or 64 bit since my system is 64 bit therefore i will go with 64 bit and as i said before most of our system even you bought like 5 year ago your system will be 64 bit now the next thing here is we need to choose which product and app i want to deploy so from here you can go with any version i would like to go with office professional plus 2021 so i'm going to simply click on that and then here you will see further option for example if you want to go with visio or you have got visio license available you can choose that one as well so again i would say it is up to us whether we want this software or not so let's say in your particular scenario you do not use visio then i think you should avoid using additional software that going to make your system slow so that's how this office customization tool help us to create our own optimized setup now i need visio so that's why i have selected it and then um if i need project i can go with it now let's click on additional option and here we can see we do have got language pack let's say you would like to install it in other language you can do that um in my case i am pretty satisfied with office ltsc professional plus 2021 plus a visio ltsc professional 2021 and project professional and obviously we need to have license of them also available then only we can use them uninterruptedly now let's go here and then if we talk about the version we simply will select latest which will install the latest version of office now coming to the apps part so i do not use access i can make it off I use one note I'm going to keep it on in case of PowerPoint Word Excel again I'm going to make them on I do not need one drive I can make it off Outlook I need it and then Publisher I need it so in this way we can customize based on our need and as I said before unnecessary softwares will make your system very heavy so let's choose only those apps which are needed now here comes the language part i'm going to install it in english so from here actually i can choose english as a language and then here i would like to go with english us now comes the additional language let's say apart from english you also use other language so here is the option when you can choose or add that one as well so i can actually add hindi india and then if you also want to add proofing tool you can do that as well in case of proofing tool i do not want to add them now let's click on next so here comes the installation option in case of installation option i'm going to keep these settings as it is now let's click on next and then here comes the upgrade option 
So what does this option will do? It will see if my system has got Visio, Project and SharePoint Designer available. If yes, then they will uninstall it and will reinstall the latest version. Let's click next because I would like to keep it. Now coming to the licensing and activation part, here you can accept your terms and condition and then click on next. Now again click on next and there we go. In this way guys, we have created our complete customization. Now simply click on finish and then let's click on export. And then here what we need to do is we need to select the second option which is office open xml format now let's click ok and then here simply accept terms and condition and then click on export so in this way guys we will able to create our custom xml file and then here if you get this option simply click on keep in this way guys we have created our custom office configuration now the next thing here what we're going to do is we will be downloading office deployment tool and let's hit enter and not to worry guys i'm going to also provide you the direct link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page so let me click here for the office deployment tool and now what we need to do here is we simply need to click on download so this will basically download a small exe file and then here i have just pasted that file inside the same folder and now let me run it and you simply need to click on continue and then you need to specify where you want to extract the content so i would like to actually keep all these content at the same place so actually i can do it at my desktop so i'm going to create this new folder uh, which is office and then i'm gonna hit ok so this will basically extract office installer so now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna copy this configuration that i have created to my desktop and then i'm gonna open this office so this is the same folder where we generated using office deployment tool now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simply copy this configuration and i'm going to paste it here and now i will be deleting all these configurations since we have created our own custom configuration now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click again on menu button and i will type cmd now run your command prompt as administrator and then you will see this screen simply type cd and then backslash and hit enter now what we need to do is we need to copy this path where this file exists and then simply write cd and then press ctrl and v to paste the path or else you can type it so it is up to you actually how you would like to proceed now what we need to do here is we need to follow the following guide from microsoft so here you will see the complete guide of deploying Office LTSC 2021. So if we go down here, so you will see we are actually following the same guide. So after we have created our custom configuration.xml, the next step here is to type the following command, which was setup space forward slash then download configuration.xml now what we need to do is we need to hit enter and then um, one more thing that I wanted to show you this is not case sensitive because here I have written it in small and you can see here C is in capital so that is again good thing because that will make things easy and I can also see this folder that was created and it has a download size of 1.94 GB which is around 2 gigabyte guys so again I would say the size of office package depend on the modules and the apps we have selected so now let's move on to our next command which is setup configuration.xml and this time actually instead of typing let me paste it 
and then hit enter and there we go as we hit enter we can see the office installation process get started and then here you will able to see that these are the only apps that we have selected now let's wait for a while till office installation gets completed and there we go guys we have successfully installed our office 2021 into our pc now let me click on close and then here we can see microsoft word is there then outlook is there and we also have selected some of optional app for example microsoft project is also there and let me actually hit ok and there we go here we can see microsoft project app now let me close this and let's run word and if you want to see the licensing or your version simply click here on file go to account and then here you will able to see your version and the license that you have now in order to change or add your product key simply click here on change product key and then enter your office product key for more information related to licensing i would suggest you to contact directly to microsoft or your office reseller that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to technoholic as we keep on bringing all kind of productivity apps for windows platform in this channel and i will see you soon with one such another productivity video till then you take care and bye bye